All right, if you'll take a look, see, I just have some assorted cobble and stone that we're gonna use to decorate the outside of this guy. And literally, we're just gonna come in through here. You wanna make sure you don't get too small a stone that's gonna fall into this hole, because that's where the water is gonna jump back into the, the reservoir. So I got a couple bigger stones like this that we'll put out here randomly to break it up. Sometimes I'll place some of these stones a little bit away from the feature so it doesn't look like, you know, just a pile of rocks sticking in the middle. And we'll put some plants through here and that'll help to make sense of the whole feature. Pull this back even a little farther. And then I got some smaller cobble to put across the front and that'll break the texture up a little bit. See, like this gravel would fall through the holes, but if you put it across the front, it'll change the texture a little bit and make it look real cool. So I basically have this whole thing roughed in. It's looking pretty nice. I'm gonna add water to it right now, get the thing kick-started, and then we'll do the final touches. Look at the beautiful color on this rock once it's wet. It is just gorgeous. So when the water's trickling over this, it's just really gonna pop. All right, I think we're about full. So we're just about done. I'm almost ready to turn this on, but we're still gonna continue on and show you some other tricks to naturalize this. We're gonna put some aquatic plants in here. It's actually winter time in Southern California. It's about 65 degrees. So our aquatic plants really don't look that good. And I know all of my buddies in the north, Northeastern territories are, are not happy with me right now about that temperature. But here we go. I have some, this is watercress and it looks good for us here in Southern California in the winter time. Couple of weeds in here, but I'm gonna yank those out. And this is just a, a short growing plant, compact. And what I'm gonna do is throw that in here at the base and it'll just give it a little color. There's a couple weeds I'll pull out here. But now that you see that I have this column wet, it has a really neat, rich, dark color. And so this doesn't take a lot of water. I'm just gonna have it get wet, put the rocks around it like so. Okay, so we have watercress. There's a little sprout of a Japanese acorus. That might get bigger than I want it to, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. Here's a cool plant. Um, we call this monkey flower. I hope it's the right description for this plant, but it's kind of tall, has this beautiful uh, yellow flower. And I'm gonna put this towards the back of this. And it might eventually overwhelm this, but for now, I think it's gonna look cool. Actually, I'm gonna push it to the other side. And after these flowers continue to bloom, I'll top them and then it'll just get a nice, nice full green coverage around the bottom of the plant. And when this is all said and done, you might barely see the rock that we're using in here because the plants will really soften everything. Okay, so I have just a couple of aquatic plants in here. Southern California, we're dealing with a drought right now, so we like to plant drought tolerant stuff. I'm gonna show you a trick uh, we do with this plant. These are succulents, and check this out. Let me find a piece. Oh, let's watch that. Oh, here we go. See this one? I'm just gonna break it like that. As I said, this is a drought tolerant plant. It's a succulent. I'm just gonna dig down a little bit like so. Plant this in at the base, 
and that's done. Water it and it'll be nice. I'll do another one in the front here. Yeah, that's gonna do well. So drought tolerant, it'll be a nice little pop. Let me go ahead and plant some more of these around here and help finish this off before we get it started.